Now guys, welcome to the platform once again. Um, it's great to be back uh, onto the review segment. Review of the game, Brentford 2, Chelsea 2. Chelsea failing to win again at the GTEC Community Stadium and um, goes from um, Tissasi and Nicolas Jackson. And Nicolas Jackson should have scored her trick anyway. Uh, Roslav and Wisa on the other hand. Classic goal, bicycle kick goal from Wisa. Let's look at the key points of the game quickly. Um, number one, Nicolas Jackson could have scored a hat trick if he's clinical enough, and Enzo Fernandez could have gotten two assists. Pochettino's in game management questioned again as Chilwell struggles into the full term with fatigue. Kukurela should have come on for Chilwell in the 65th minute. Kukurela is back on the was back on the bench. Number three, sloppy and clueless, careless defending on display from Chelsea again. For how long are we? gonna continue to give space to opponents and um wisa was given enough space to bicycle kick the ball into um the net no leaders and nobody taking respons responsibility nobody taking responsibility in defense there again our failure on the part of pochettino the lack of taking responsibility on the defense there failure on the part of pochettino and number is Pochettino's fault to organize uh, leadership on the field, in defense, midfield, and even equally occasionally when attacking wise. Uh, they seem to lack ideas on the field. Number four, Petrovic, too clever and doesn't um, give unnecessary passes when Chelsea players are pressed. You could equally see in the game or in midweek against um, Leeds United that Sanchez was giving passes um, to players when they were clearly pressed and marked, hence resulting in Leeds United scoring the first goal against Chelsea. And this is the reason why um, Petrovic um, is far, Gigi Pe Petrovic is far ahead of um, Sanchez as Chelsea's number one, and no wonder. Number five, the fifth point: Brentford were more direct uh, when you compare them attacking wise. Um, against Chelsea, you could clearly see an example to illustrate that in the build-up of the goals that they scored, especially much clearly seen in the second goal in which the referee allowed advantage for the ball to quickly move to uh, Wisa. And Wisa, I think, gave the ball before moving in and the ball was, I think, crossed by uh, Reglon and then Wisa calmly bicycle kicked the ball into the net and nobody was attacking, was defending uh, the, uh, him against him. And quite careless there. We did it against Van Dijk in the finals of the Carabao Cup. And yet again, we allow free space for Wisa to bicycle kick the ball into our net. And, and Chelsea hold the ball too much in defense without resorting to direct attacking football. And I don't know for how long should we tell Pochettino that he's not doing his work well. How would the players be passing unnecessarily and wasting time when indeed we want to score goals?